dear students good morning today we are going to discuss the topic on lagrange's equation of motion we derive the lagrange's equation of motion using holonomic constraints so now uh, lagrange used the d'alembert's principle to derive the equation of the motion we know that the d'alembert's principle is summation i equal to capital 1 to n uh, fi minus pi dot delta ri equal to 0 here fi represents the external force and pi is the generalized momentum delta ri is the virtual displacement uh, here the virtual displacement delta ri not are not independent so now we consider a system with the n particles at r1 vector r2 vector r n vector and having k equations of holonomic constraints now the system will have small n equal to 3n minus k generalized coordinates say these coordinates are q1 q2 etc q small n now we form the transformation equation from r variables to q variables using this equation r i vector equal to r i vector of q1 q2 etc qn comma t name this equation as true now here the virtual displacements does not involve time so therefore from the equation 2 we get delta r i equal to dou r i by dou q1 into delta q1 plus dou r i by dou q2 into delta q2 plus etc dou r i by dou qn into delta qn uh, while uh, differentiating dou r i by dou t will be 0 so we omit it and we write the summation form delta r i equal to summation j equal to 1 to small n dou r i by dou qj into delta, delta qj name this equation as 3 here delta qj's are virtual displacements of the generalized coordinates so from which we can find the value of uh, differentiate with respect to t we get dou ri r i dot equal to d r i by d t equal to so this can be written dou r i by dou q1 into q1 dot plus dou r i by dou q2 into q2 dot plus etc dou r i by dou q n into q n dot plus dou r i by dou t this is obtained from the equation 2 now r i dot can be written in the summation form summation j dou r i by dou q j into q j dot plus dou r i by dou t name this equation as 4 now you differentiate <coughs> r i dot partially with respect to q j dot we get dou r i dot by dou q j dot equal to so we are differentiating only qj term so other terms are uh, become uh, constant they become zero so therefore you will get only one term dou ri by dou qj into uh, q when qj dot is partially differentiated with respect to qj dot it will become one now we find the value of uh, summation i fi into delta ri equal to so summation fi into we replace from the equation 3 we can replace delta r i by summation j dou r i by dou q j into delta q j so now we go back to equation 3 here delta r i equal to summation j equal to 1 to n dou r i by dou q j into delta q j so now taken uh, we take on the summation j outside j equal to 1 to n we take on the summation i into f i into dou r i by dou q j into delta q j So now here uh, the term inside the bracket is summation i fi into dou r i by dou qj is we write it as capital qj so therefore uh, uh, summation fi into delta r i equal to summation j equal to 1 to n capital qj into delta qj name we give name this equation as 6 here capital qj equal to summation i fi into dou i by dou qj is called the jth component of the generalized force now next we find the inertial force term summation i pi dot into delta r i equal to so now mi into r i double dot the value of p equal to mv mass into velocity pi dot equal to m into r i dot pi dot equal to mi into ri 
और डबल डॉट सो नाउ हियर पी ई डाट इज रीप्लेस्ड बै एम ई इंटू आर ई डबल डाट इंटू डेलटा आर ई अंड अगेन फ्रम दि इक्वेशन थ्री वि सब्सिट्यूट द वैल्यू आफ डेलटा आर ई एस समेन जे डो आर ई बी डो क्यू जे इंटू डेलटा क्यू जे इन दिस टेम आड अंड सब्ट्राक्ट द टेम समेन ई एम ई इंटू आर ई डाट इंटू डी बी डी टी एफ डो आर ई बी डो क्यू जे इंटू डेलटा क्यू जे वि गेट वि टेक् समेन जे अवट सैड विदिन द प्रीवियस् टेम एम ई इंटू आर ई डाट इंटू डो आर ई बी डो क्यू जे डेलटा क्यू जे वि दिस टेम वि आड अंड सब्ट्राक्ट द एब टेम सो दर् फोर वि गेट समेन जे वि हव टेकन अवट सैड In the remain uh, in the three terms, delta Q J is common. You take delta Q J outside, and finally we get summation J into summation M I into R I double dot do R I by do Q J into delta Q J do delta Q J we have taken outside, and from the second term you write uh, some remaining terms are summation M I into R I dot into d by d T of do R I by do Q J minus uh, M I into R I dot into d by d T of do R I by do Q J. Now, these two terms is the differentiation of d by dt of m i into r i dot into do r i by do q j. So, if you differentiate m i r i dot into do r i by do q j with respect to time t, you will get the <coughs> about term. You take m i into r when r i dot is differentiated. You get r i double dot. You take you take m i into do r i by do q j as it is. And similarly, and next to we we keep m i r i dot as it is, and we are differentiating uh, do r i by do q j with respect to d by d t. So therefore, these two terms are the uh, expansion of the differentiation of m i into r i dot into do r i by do q j. So the remaining term we take as it is. Name this equation as seven. Next we separately find the value of uh, uh, the first two term in the equation seven. That is namely summation i into d by dt of m i into r i dot into do r i by do q j. This can be written in the form m i r i dot <coughs> do r i by do q j. We know that it is equal to do r i dot by do q j dot. This is obtained from equation five, so we substitute here, and we write R I dot is nothing but V I, so R I dot is replaced by V I, M I into V I into R I dot again uh, do V I by do Q J dot. So from this term uh, we take d by d t of uh, do by do Q J dot we are taking outside, so we get summation I into M I V I can be written as half into M I V I square. Uh, while your differentiation term you are getting, so here half into m i into v i square represents the uh, total kinetic energy of the system. So therefore, it represents d by d t of do by do q j dot of d t. So finally, we get d by d t of do t by do q j dot. This is the answer of uh, summation i d by d t of m i into r i dot into do r i by do q j. That e is the total energy of the system. Now next we change the order of the differentiation in the second term of the equation seven. Here the second term of the equation seven is uh, summation m i into r i dot into d by d t of do r i by do q j. In this term we change the order of the integration. So therefore m i Summation m i into r i dot into d by d t of do r i by do q j is written as m i summation i m i into r i dot into uh, so now r i dot is differentiated with respect to t we get r i is differentiated with respect to t get do r i dot divided by do q j so this term again can be written in the form uh, do by do q j of uh, summation i of into m i into v i square we are differentiating v i square you will get two v i into Two <coughs> v i. Two two will get cancelled, and uh, v i is nothing but uh, 
and then VI to be differentiated. That is dou VI by dou QJ, VI is nothing but RI dot, dou RI dot. So the again we get the summation IE equal to 1 by 2 into MI VI square represents the total kinetic energy T. So therefore the summation MI into RI dot into d by dt of dou RI by dou QJ equal to dou T by dou QJ. Name this equation as 9. So substituting these equations 8 and 9 in the uh, 7 we get go back to 7th equation. So the two terms are replaced and the delta QJ will come. We get summation IE equal to 1 TN, PI dot delta RI equal to summation J equal to 1 TN. So now the equation 10 is, equation 8 is replaced by d by dt of dot by dot qj dot minus dot t by dot qj into delta qj. Name this equation as 10. So now uh, we have found out the values of summation i equal to 20 in pi dot delta ri. And so now substitute the values of 6 and 10 in equation 1 we get. Here I have written the equation 1 summation i equal to 20 and fi minus pi dot into delta ri equal to 0. So we have splitted the term summation i equal to only fi into delta ri minus summation i equal to 20 in pi dot delta ri. Uh, so we have substituted the uh, values uh, of uh, <coughs> uh, from equations 6 and 10 the values are substituted here. So from equation uh, 6 we get the value of uh, summation i equal to 20 in fi delta ri is summation i equal to 20 in qj delta qj. And here the value of uh, from the equation 10 we get summation i equal to 20 in pi dot delta ri is uh, summation j equal to 1 to small n d by dt of dot by dot qj dot minus dot by dot qj. The common term uh, delta qj we have taken outside. So finally we get uh, summation j equal to n qj minus d by dt of dot by dot qj dot you multiply the term inside minus minus will get plus dot by dot qj into delta qj. So we have taken a minus sign from all the terms you get summation j equal to 20 n uh, d by dt of dot t by dot qj dot minus dot t by dot qj minus qj into delta qj equal to 0 name this equation as 11. Here uh, the delta q's are independent. So therefore each of the coefficient must be vanished separately. So the coefficient of delta qj here is d by dt of dot t by dot qj dot minus dot t by dot qj minus capital qj must be equal to 0. This is true for all the coordinates j equal to 1 to 3 up to n. Suppose the external forces are conservative we get a capital fi is equal to external force fi equal to minus delta i into capital V where V is a function of R1 vector, R2, etc, Rn. So from this we can find the value of delta IV equal to dou VI by dou Ri. So uh, we know that uh, capital QJ equal to the generalized force capital QJ equal to summation I FI into dou Ri by dou QJ. So we replace FI by minus delta IV and dou Ri by dou QJ. You take a minus sign outside summation I dou V by dou Ri. Delta IV is dou V by dou RI. So replace by delta V delta IV by dou V by dou RI and we get uh, uh, dou V by dou RI into dou RI by dou QJ. This is the value of some, uh, QJ is equal to. So hence we get QJ is equal to. This is nothing but uh, dou, dou V by dou QJ. So name this equation as a, so substitute, substituting the value of 13 and 13 in. So the reason we have given here, but V equal to V of R1, R2, R3, Rn, dV equal to dou V by dou Ri into dRi. So dV value we have found out here. And substitute the value of 13 in 12 we get. So qj value is minus dou v by dou qj. So the qj is replaced by dou v by dou qj there. 
So we get d by dt of dou t by dou qj dot minus dou t by dou qj plus dou v by dou qj equal to 0. This is true for j equal to 1, 2, 3 up to n. So therefore, if the potential v is a function of position only, then uh, dou v by dou q dot equal to 0. So therefore, uh, we can add the term dou v by dou q dot in the above equation 15, we get db dt of uh, dou t by dou q dou by dou qj dot of t minus v minus dou by dou qj of uh, t minus v equal to 0 for j equal to 1 to 3 up to n. Name this equation as 16. So now introduce a new function L defined by L of q q dot t equal to t of q q dot t minus uh, v of q. So name this equation as 17 where q stands for q1, q2, q3, qn and q dot stands for the generalized velocities q1 dot, q2 dot, qn dot. The function is called the Lagrangian function of the system. So therefore equation 17 becomes. So now <coughs> t minus v is replaced by l. So we get d by dt of dou by dou qj dot dou l by dou qj dot minus dou l by dou qj equal to 0 for j equal to 1 to 3 up to n. We are substituting the value of 17 in 16. So we get these n equations one for each generalized coordinates are called the Lagrange's equation. For giving j equal to 1 you get one equation for a uh, for n generalized coordinates, uh, we get, uh, for each coordinate, we will get one Lagrangian equation. For n generalized coordinate, we get n Lagrange's equation. So, thus we have derived the Lagrange's equation of motion for non holonomic constraints. So, thank you, students.